We're back with expert antiques appraiser Dr. Lori to look at a few more items sent in by you. Yeah, and we're starting with what we think is a big ticket item. Yeah. This is a baseball bat, but it's not just any baseball bat. Tell us about this. We recognize this name, Dr. Lori. It's a Honus Wagner baseball bat. Notice there's no H in Pittsburgh there, so that helps you to date it. Early 1900s baseball bat. And you know, I'm gonna read some of his stats. It's amazing. National League stolen base leader, 1901, 02, 04, 07, 08, 1909 World Series. Played with the Pirates from 1900 to 1917. He was a manager, one of the great shortstops hitters. His batting average was 329, 3,420 hits. Eight-time all-time hitter in baseball. I mean, this guy is serious. He is serious. <laughs> and we know that his baseball card just was traded for, like, a record amount of money um, and yes, sold at auction. Right. So That's right. Wayne Gretzky had owned it for a time, too, into the millions. Wonderful piece. So a great piece of history. This One of our viewers sent this in. What do you think? Well, when it's, this bat is not Honus Wagner's bat. It's obviously a, a, something that was made with his name on well, that's it. That's right? right. Okay. That's right. That's hmm. right. All right, that just lowers it a lot uh, in my mind. Um, but I'm just not sure. How many of these would exist today? Uh, maybe in the hundreds. Ooh. Oh, uh, okay. Yee. All right. Just went back up. All right. Okay. Oh. We got to guess. We got to okay. guess. Okay. All got to right. guess. Okay. I, I just, I'm going big. I'm going 650. Mary? 360. I went way higher. 1,800. 500 bucks. Oh. oh on the board. Wait. Mary, I three six. Mary has two points now. All and right. during the break, and during the break, I made Mary a baby blanket. Oh, oh my oh, gosh, wow. that's so great. You are fast, I'm, Dr. Lori. I'm fast. So I'll be send I'll be sending this to you. Oh, thank you. That is oh, that's so, so sweet. sweet. She may start to cry. I'm gonna Let's, cry. We should stop. Okay. Uh, a camera sent in by Jenny. We, we, you camera, it's your a baby. 450 Polaroid land camera. Uh, this one, of course, dates to the middle to late 20th century. I don't know. I, I had some of these types of cameras. I remember the the um, the one that, you know, I can't think of it. The Polaroid one that came right out. You know, you oh yeah, like the Instamatic way. from the 70s, yeah. right? Yeah, Anything well, the from Instamatic the 70s, is he knows. a little bit earlier. So this oh, okay. is the Land Camera 60s, 70s. This is a nice camera in good condition. People do look for these. What do now, you think? But this is not the, what it, it says it's a land camera. What does that mean? That doesn't mean it, it spits out a picture. It means something else, no, right? No, it does not spit out, spit out a picture, no. They're okay. using Polaroid as the brand name. It's an automatic camera to be used on land. Oh, okay. And also, <laughs> and it also, it not only relates to be used on land, but it's also named for that particular innovator land. It's a, it's mm. a surname also. Oh. Okay. All okay. right, I'm ready. You guys ready? I went 125. Ooh, I went 115. I went 120. <gasps> 75 bucks. Oh, Mary's in the lead. Wow, she oh, was watching. See? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are good at this, Mary. All right, the final item is a barber chair, and this was sent in by Erica. So tell us about this chair. You know, a lot of people are finding stuff at thrift stores, so if you find something needed th at a thrift store and you want to send it in, I'll certainly take a look. This is from Erica. It's a barber chair, a Hercules barber chair. And you can see that right on the bottom on the footrest. Made in Cincinnati, Ohio. It is, of course, in the early 1900s. It looks like it's in beautiful condition. It does. If you need a barber chair, you well, know. Right. So, so who, who would pick up something like this? Would this be a collector you know, it, item? It, it, it's conversation pieces. A lot of people like these pieces for their man cave okay. or for, you know, a den. Yeah. I see this a lot, you know, with people who say, Dr. Lori, I had an opportunity to get this vintage piece, so I took it and I, I had it reupholstered or I, I cleaned up and I resanded the wood, whatever it might be. But yeah, mm. I see a lot of this happening more and more now. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, need to, I need to guess. I need to guess. The ladies are ready, David. Okay, I'm sorry. And you never I'm keep a woman behind. waiting. Okay, I'm sorry. 95. 95, 95 says Mary. I went 150. I went 300. Yeah, you're all too low. 300. David takes that point. Ooh, wow. Oh. Wait, can I tell you? I did not get a single point today. Not a single point. It was the battle between Mary and me. Wow. It was a battle today. Mary what wins. Fun. What and, fun. Yeah. And Mary says thank you. Thank you. In the mail. Thank you so much. And, th and thank you, Dr. Lori. As always, we've had a lot of fun and we've learned a lot too. Well, congratulations to Mary and her new addition to the family. I love all of you. We'll see you next week. All right. Thanks, Dr. Lori. Wally is a cutie too.
Absolutely. Yeah. And thanks to everyone for sending us your photos, and maybe your item will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori. She's going to be back next week. She will be, yeah. yeah. And coming up, two friends, 4,650 miles. They ride to honor the memory of a college athlete, and now they need to get across the country before the tournament named in his honor begins. Their story is coming up next.